and welcome back to my channel. How are you all? I know it's been like forever and ever and ever. There's always some, something going on that stops me from filming. But in a nutshell, if you guys remember one of my previous videos, I had a massive abscess on the side of my face. It came back, so I actually had to um, have surgery done. Where they basically removed the abscess, cut that piece of skin, like this area here. They actually had to cut that skin away and kind of, kind of like a little bit like a minor facelift and kind of drag this together and stitch stitch it back so i i've been under the weather for some weeks i just haven't had time to film then went back to work and you know it's been crazy busy at work so literally i just didn't have the time to do anything because so many things were happening at once but i am back i'm back i'm back and i'm not going anywhere i'm just glad to be back i'm glad to be back here you know back to good health and back to myself as you can see the hair has changed because during the time that i wasn't feeling well I wasn't able to go to my hairdressers so my hair just grew it grew and I was like you know what let me try and do something different and let me just get braids I haven't had braids for some time and you know what I'm loving it I copied um one of my uh, fellow youtubers um my American bombshell she had done her hair like this and I absolutely loved it on her so I said I'm gonna copy her and do the same thing you know sometimes now and again you gotta copy a little bit but quickly let's talk about Sorry guys, I'm just loving the length of my hair, that's why I keep on doing this. I, I'm feeling really like, you know, Nicki Minaj challenge, kind of like, you know, you know what I mean, right? But anyways, can we just talk about this heat in the UK at the moment? Gosh, I feel like I'm in Africa, honestly, I feel like I'm in Nigeria, I feel like I'm in the Caribbean, I feel, I feel like I'm anywhere that is blazing hot. It is so hot right now, and I'm trying not to complain about it, because... We don't like it when it's cold either, but jeez, this weather's too much. We can't handle it here. I'm, I'm sweating bucket loads, guys. Like, I'm sweating, I'm sweating, and I'm sweating. Even filming this video right now, I'm dying. As in, I've got the lights on me, as well as, the, you know, the heat. So I've got the heat from the lights. I've got the heat from the sun. I've got the heat from just being in a house. It's much. It, it's much for me, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm trying my hardest not to complain, but it's too, it's too hot. It's too hot. It just needs to take it down a notch. I couldn't even sleep last night. Seriously, I practically slept on top of my bed. No covers, nothing. Just bah. As in, I just was just, just lying there. But anyways, guys, this video is just going to be a quick re-intro video, you know, back onto my YouTube channel for people to watch. And I'll obviously start releasing, you know, my fashion hauls, my lookbooks um, throughout summer. Fact one, I am... 28 years old. I don't know if I've mentioned that. I look really young actually and a lot of people tell me I look a lot younger for my than my age than I actually am. Which is a compliment to me anyways because when I'm 40 I'll be looking like I'm 30. So I don't mind um I don't mind looking younger if you know what I mean. Guys, I'm so sorry. I've got to pause this video. I've got to change this top because I'm hot. I'm 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 too hot. I'm I'm dying out here. I'm hot as hell. I am back. Oh my god. I don't know what I was thinking wearing that shirt. I was I, I was sweating buckets. I was dying. It was too hot. This is better, I'm still hot, but this is better. But anyways, next fact about me, I love chips. Oh my God, I love chips. I can eat chips every single day, guys. I don't think you understand chips as in fries. I love, 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 love chips, especially McDonald's chips, oh my God. I'm a very honest person and people confuse my honesty for rudeness. I, I don't think I'm rude. Honestly, I don't go out of my way just to be rude to people. I'm just very blunt and very honest. I kind of just say it as it is. I don't really take any, you know, any ball. I kind of just say it as it is, you know, and let's keep it 100. And I guess sometimes for some people that don't know me, it could probably come across a bit like, ooh, that was a bit rude. And it's like, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just keeping it 100. I used to be an athlete. People don't believe it, but trust me, when I was in school, geez, I was, you know, I was a sprinter. I used to proper run part of the netball team, the hockey team, the athletics team. I was really good at a 100 meter sprint. I was really, really good until another girl came along and she just, you know, she beat the crap out of me. She was, she blew me. She, she was fast. She was really, really fast. But next fact about me is I'm 5'1". I'm tiny. Most people, when they see me on photo, like in photos, and they see me on camera, they think I'm actually bigger than what I am. I'm not. I'm a... I'm a small girl. I'm a small girl. Like really, really small actually. I'm tiny. Next fact, I, I don't I don't know if you guys find this irritating, but when you're on the train, I hate it so much when you're sitting down and someone steps on your foot and they don't apologize. That oh god, that makes me oh it really rubs me up the wrong way to the point that I actually step back on their foot. I'm petty, yeah. I'm that petty. I'm 
that person. You step on my foot, I'm going to step back on yours because I'm just, I'm petty. It just irritates me because if you don't say sorry and you know you stepped on my foot because my foot is, is three dimensional, do you know what I mean? It doesn't, it's not flat. So clearly when you're stepping on my foot, you're going to feel that, hold on, this is a, this is a, a 3D object. Apologise, it's just manners, just say sorry. So next fact about me, my favourite movie, honestly, honestly speaking, is Beauty and the Beast. I love that movie. I am probably the biggest Disney fanatic. I love all the Disney movies. I don't know, I love to watch them because one, I always feel like they have really good messages in them. And not only just that, they just put you in such a good mood. Like, they make me so happy. You know, they make me like, especially if I'm feeling down or feeling like, oh... You know, watching a Disney movie really just uplift my spirit. Next fact about myself is I'm not very forgiving. And my mum tells me all the time that is such a bad trait. I'm not. I'm not the most forgiving person. I feel like if you cross me once, I think that's it. We, we're not, we're not, we're most likely not going to be cool, to be honest with you. When I mean by cross me, like, we can have little petty arguments. So that's what, you know, people do, relatives, friends, whatever. You have arguments with people. But I mean, as in, if you do something really, really personal to me, I don't think there's any, any going back from that. Um, that we're probably not going to ever be cool again. Growing up, I always wanted to be an actress. I never wanted to get into banking. I kind of just fell into banking because when I finished college, um, I didn't get into drama schools that I wanted to go to and I was like okay what am I going to do with my life I'm just going to sit at home and you know wait for manna to fall from the sky at the end of the day yeah if you want something in life whether it's a job or whether it's you know your dreams your ambitions you have to actually get out of there and I'm um, trying you know grind and you know make it happen so and also my dad's Nigerian so he weren't having that so he was like girl <laughs> come you're taking your ass to your university you're not sitting at home doing nothing like you need to go get your education on so he, he weren't having a bar of it i hate cooking but i know how to cook there's a difference between you know hate cooking and just because you don't know how to cook i know how to cook you know i got to know how to cook my man's nigerian so he ain't having that i got to know how to cook <laughs> so but i hate cooking honestly i feel like it just takes too long especially african food anyone out there that's african knows that african food can just take all day you know what I mean? By the time you boil the meat, by the time, you know, you grill, you fry the meat, you make the stew, you make the soup, it's as in, ah, you've just been there all day. I used to be a little tomboy. When I mean a tomboy, I mean a proper, proper tomboy when I was younger. Like, all this makeup and hair and all this stuff that you see me do today, that wasn't me when I was in school, trust me. I used to wear, you know, sag, saggy pants, you know, with the boxes showing, always in sneakers or trainers you know, have my hair back, going kept that, trust me, I was, I was the ultimate tomboy, I was not into all this makeup stuff, I see all these young girls, like 16, 15, 17, or whatever, like, proper contouring, and, you know, big weave, I'm like, wow, times have really changed, because when I was younger, all I had was skin, <laughs> there was no foundation, just my skin, next fact about me, I am the youngest of four, I've got, um, from my mother, I've got an elder brother, I've got two older sisters. Um, I also got one half sister and two half brothers um, from my dad. So yeah, I am the baby of the house. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, I consider myself to be quite funny. You know, quite a few of my friends tell me I'm quite funny. I do, I do like, I do try my hardest to make people laugh because it's like, life's too short. Let's just smile. Let's laugh as much as we can. Let's have a good time. It's not always about being serious. Yes, we need to be serious when, the, when, when, there's, when there's a time and when there's a place, but, you know, let's laugh and joke. So yeah, I am a bit of a joker. When I was in school, I definitely was considered to be the class clown, the person that was always speaking, the person that was always cracking jokes, and, you know, probably the student that was a bit disruptive you know, that's what they, that's what they said, you know, disruptive. Another fact about me is, if I like you, I like you, as in I will rock for you. As in, I will really, really rock for you. But if I don't like you, I really just don't like you. And I don't know how to hide that I just don't like you. There's no way of me hiding it. It's so obvious on my face, as in, I, I don't like you. <laughs> I just don't like you, you know? But if you are my friend, and I like you, even if you're not my friend, and I just like you as a person, I will, will rock for you. Because I'm one of those people, I'm really just, I'm really ride or die. I am extremely emotional. Oh my God. I will cry at the drop of anything. Like seriously, I, I, I'm i really, really emotional. I cry when I watch movies. I cry when I just see horrible, horrible, horrible things on the news. Trust me, <laughs> I'm a, I am the biggest cry baby. So... I'm extremely, extremely, extremely emotional. I'm always crying about something. So yeah, I have a little bit of a temper, just 
just a tiny one but I think that's because I'm short I think that's down to short men's syndrome I, I was telling you a lot of short people they tend to have um they're, they're, they're quite hot they're quite you know you know hot have tempers but I honestly believe it's because of our height I feel like we always got to feel like we've got to defend ourselves and that's why we're like that but like I love reality tv I've actually noticed that these days I don't watch anything really apart from reality tv the love and hip-hops the real housewives like trust me grown up hip-hop I watch them all rats and family values like trust me I love reality tv that is my oh Trust me, it's just, it's like a drug to me. Like, if I don't watch it, trust me, if I'm like, oh my God, I haven't watched Love and Hip Hop this week, I start, sh <laughs> I start shaking. It's like, oh my God, I need to watch it. I, I need, I need my weekly fix, you know what I mean? It's so bad. They're polluting my mind. My friend says to me all the time that, like, trust me, I'm killing my brain cells. And I probably, I probably am watching that crap, but I just love it. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I can't stand it when people fart near me. I'm not joking, like, <laughs> people, like my family members, yeah, and my fiance get angry, so it's like, well, don't you fart? Well, yes, everyone farts, but don't fart next to me. Like, don't fart in the same room as me. Like, I don't even want you to fart near me. I swear, that sh oh, it really, it really pisses me off, trust me, when people do that. It's like, that's just disgusting. Why are you farting next to me? It's like, ooh, it really, <laughs> it really irritates me. I can't stand it. Oh, that is probably one of the things that will get me so angry. I can't stand it. But I think people do it on purpose because they know that it irritates me. Trust me, that really, really pisses me off. So, no fine. I am a neat freak, honestly. Like, I can probably have, like, clothes folded on my bed. But I can't stand it when places are just messy. I can't stand dust. I can't stand dirt on the floor. Like, I really am... That, you know big on you know your house is a representation of you do you know what I mean so if you have visitors and I feel like your house should like a place should always a place that you're living should always be clean or should always be on point because you never know when you might have visitors just pop up on you so it's always got to look you know presentable I've got this habit of just checking people but that's changing now I'm not like that anymore I'm a changed person sometimes it's not everything you see that you don't like you must say sometimes you just have to let it go that's the new me speaking <laughs> The last fact about me, which a lot of people seem to not believe, but I'm a really shy person. I'm really, really shy. I feel like this, you know, the confidence is just like a, you know, I don't know, probably like a bit of a front, you know, because it's good to be, you have to, it's not good to show that you're shy. In public, you have to, you know, have some, ooh, some sort of confidence, if you know what I mean. But naturally, I'm a really, really shy person. If I'm in a room with a bunch of people I don't know, I would literally kind of just kind of, it put me on edge and I'll kind of just kind of start pushing myself to the back because I really just don't like to be in environments with you know with people I'm I don't know that's it guys so I thought this would be a kind of like a you know a nice video a nice re-intro video for me to come back on my channel just to you know to see what you guys have been up to find out how you guys are doing <laughs> for me to kind of you know give you some info about myself so um you know my subscribers and any new subscribers that i do get um can um you know kind of get to know me and kind of get to know what kind of person i am and yeah don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel make sure you subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram and snapchat you know what you got to do just click those buttons and i am back i am back i'm in good health i'm so much better i'm you know so much happier i'm in a good space in life right now so yeah guys trust me the videos are going to be floating through and I will be going back to posting on my you know my my website for my blog as well so make sure you guys look out for that but yeah hope you enjoy it um till next time guys <laughs> bye I cannot forget that where you put me for Snapchat I give you my number oh plus two three four for WhatsApp as a shot for you, as a shot, yellow, link up and become trouble. Yeah. Maybe you scatter my head.